Hi, my name is Apeksha Porwar. Your experience in the Arabic series slave market must have been unique. Can you share some insights into your role and the challenges you faced while working on this project? Uh, working in slave market was unique in every way. Um, especially working in the Arabic film industry, which are such as so untapped uh, when it comes to an Indian actor going and working over there. So I think that was uh, quite an adventure for me. Um, the role that I played was that of Princess Lavani, which um, she's basically an Indian princess in the early 1900s. And she gets betrayed by some of her closest aides and she gets sold into slavery. And she's sold onto, this, on, onto a ship as a sex slave. And during that time, she also meets a horse trader, an Arabic horse trader. And they also have a very beautiful love story that's going on. And it's about how he tries to help her, how she maintains her dignity in this situation and how she escapes. So that's what Slave Market is about. Horse riding is not a skill that everyone can possess. How did your experience with horse riding, long stick fighting and gym in jungle contribute to your role in the series? And did it present any unexpected challenges for you? Um, so I, I love horse riding. I've trained in horse riding a little bit. And it just so happened that my character in the show, uh, there's one sequence where I'm riding a horse. So it just sort of helped in that. And also I did some training there because um, Arabian horses are much larger, uh, much faster than uh, the horses here are. Uh, and it was it was a beautiful sequence actually and it was quite fun it wasn't the only scary bit was that the horse was running away from fire so there was a bit of time where we were uh, waiting for action to be called and the horse started getting uh, you know feeling hot because of the fire so it started running off on its own so there was a bit of all that but it was fun working on an arabic series may involve cultural nuances how did you prepare for your role to ensure authenticity and sensitivity to your cultural aspects uh, i am so glad that i got to experience the arabic culture firsthand and to actually spend nine months in the middle east um, and i think uh, so because i play an indian in the show i had to honestly just be authentic to being indian um, but there were a couple of lines that I had to speak in Arabic in the show and it's such a beautiful language. So even while I was on set, I, was, I would keep asking all the ladies to keep teaching me Arabic. So I'm glad I got to speak a little bit. Uh, also, um, I think one of the common things that I noticed between Indians and uh, the Arabic film industry as such was they were both very hospitable people. So apart from the fact that it was in that country and basically everybody around me spoke Arabic, um, I had a very similar experience in terms of feeling at home and feeling that warmth around me on set. Can you tell us about a particularly memorable or challenging scene from Slave Market and how you approached it as an actor? Um, the character in itself is, is quite a challenging character. There are some scenes where she's shown to be raped. There are some scenes uh, where you know she's throwing herself into the sea. So there are quite a few heavy scenes that the character is playing. But to be honest, I find that challenge quite exciting. I think the actual physically challenging bit was shooting in a swimming pool uh, because uh, and shooting in the sea, which was very cold. Um, we're shooting for seven hours in the sea and in freezing temperatures with very heavy duty uh, emotions and um, especially in the pool as well. So there's a scene where I'm sinking into the bottom of the pool. So to do that, they have to tie weights, weights around my waist and in my sari. So I had to go up onto a level, jump into the pool and keep on sinking straight down into the water, you know, till they got the shot. And obviously that would create air pressure in my ears and it was all of that. But it was, uh, there was a lot of safety on set. So it was fun actually, it was quite an experience. In the entertainment industry, versatility is crucial. How do you balance your experience in an Arabic series with other projects you have worked on or plan to work in the future? Um, I think um, versatility is, has been one of the key things that was important to me. In fact, um, right after doing this in India, uh, when I was sort of uh, you know working on my first role, I did Andeki in which I play a tribal girl who's on the run, which was a complete 180 degree shift from Miss India. It was a tribal girl who's wearing tattered clothes, 
uh, completely non-glam. In fact, the only makeup I had was mud on my face. Um, and after that, I got to play the character of Lavani in, in Slave Market, which is an Indian princess, which is again a completely different shift. I also did a small part in Badhai Do where um, I played Bhumi's ex-girlfriend, um, which she's a less she's lesbian, she's um, a small town girl, again very different. So I think, in fact, it's not just important, that's also the fun of it. That's also the exciting part, uh, which is to be able to get to live all of these different characters. And in fact, even my next one, which I'm not allowed to talk about just yet, is a complete shift from anything anybody has ever seen me in. As we see you in traditional look, traditional looks really suit on you. So, uh, what do you have to say about that? Uh, well, thank you for that. And I really enjoy traditional looks. Uh, in fact, that's why I also really like Lavni's look because uh, it's all traditional, it's saris, it's lehengas. And um, I think in India, we have such beautiful outfits, um, beautiful colors. Different parts of India has different um, cultures and and the way we reflect that in our outfits I think is is uh, something that we should value and cherish actually. So I've been do exploring that a lot lately and I and I enjoy it. The so entertainment industry often demands adaptability. How do you stay prepared for roles that may require learning new skills or immersing yourself in unfamiliar scenarios? Um I love that. I think and I always say this, one of the amazing things about being an actor is no two days are the same. Uh, so tomorrow, like for Koyal, I was doing stunt training in the jungles of Manali. For Lavani, I was learning a little bit of Arabic. Uh, I was shooting in the sea, I was training in underwater filming as well, which is a separate training that I've done. So I think um, the very fact that our job allows us to experience all these things that we probably otherwise would not have is something that I value a lot. Beyond acting, are there any other aspects of filmmaking process that you find particularly interesting or that you aspire to explore further in your career? Um, I think as of now, I'm going to focus on my acting. Um, but I think what is really fascinating and I think is, is the captain of the ship's job, is the director to be able to control such a massive set, um, have this, this vision in his head, uh, bring that to life in person to see every different actor, costume, uh, dialogues to everything. I think theatre is truly a director's medium and um, that's something I really admire. How has your experience in slave market influenced your career choices and are there any specific genre or type of role you are eager to explore in near future? I have a soft spot for period cinema, period dramas, larger than life sets and I'm glad that slave market actually let me experience that. Um, so this is one thing I always say, I want to keep on doing period dramas and period cinema. Um, also, um, I'm very open to just exploring different characters right now. So it doesn't matter what strata of society or what kind of a, you know, uh, set or whatever location it is from. I think the main thing for me is that it should be an interesting character. It should be different from what I've done before and it should be fun to explore. Yeah, thank you so much.